I'm Nadine, President of the Students' Union. I'm Rachel Williams, Vice President for Welfare and Community. Uh, hi, I'm Joe Simpson, I'm the Vice President for Activities and Development. And I'm Ben, I'm Vice President of Education for the Arts and Sciences. All it's about is turning ideas into policy, and once it's policy, then it's kind of something that we have to do. As student officers, I guess our role is um, to find out what students really care about and how they can fit into these structures. Um, what ways they can campaign to make a difference. So it's about empowerment, I suppose. It was the first time I'd been involved really uh, with KCSU politics, student politics, and it was, I found it a really uh, exciting experience. It developed you as a person, like having to present your ideas in front of people who are going to really challenge you. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think student council was a really empowering time. I was LGBT association head, and it was lovely to have that type of access to your community and to get involved and to know so many people. Other issues involved LGBT training for all people at KCLSU and all the staff. I feel like for me, um, I was women's officer the year before last and I think like it really helped me to understand the way that I see the world and understand and develop the views that I have. I think it, it got me some real contacts in the college who I knew could then help me um, make change. But I was NUS delegate, which meant that I was one of six students who um, went to the National Union of Students Conference in April to present our ideas as a university there too. And that was a really great way to meet other students um, yeah, across the nation, find out what they're up to and see if we could link campaigns with what we're doing as well. It puts you in contact with the other people who can help you make those changes, so other students and also other people you know, at the university and within the union, like the permanent staff who you can get in contact who can help you do those things. I, d I don't think there's ever been a year of student council without a bit of controversy but I think like again having to argue your your corner and take on criticism as well that's something that although I was able to do it before I feel a lot more confident in doing it now. Um, Enabling that discussion with council and meeting people from other departments and other with different interests from different ways of life really enabled me to gain some perspective on a lot of the issues. And it is like really amazing when like a group of students get together and they do achieve something and if it's done through student council as well yeah you just come together and realize that the power of students collectively can make so much of a difference I've, i've normally studied at guys and so i feel like i hadn't had that much contact with people from the other campuses but actually it brings everyone together even if you don't get elected to student council you know you can turn up to student council and you can uh, anyone can ask questions anyone can get involved yeah also like student council is the place where students can come and directly hold us accountable so you can challenge us on what we're doing you can ask us what we're doing you know if you like ask me to share my weekly calendar with you like i would do it that's the place to do it the thing that really kind of makes the union better is if we have lots of people standing sharing their ideas you're doing amazingly just standing anyway play your part in, yeah. in the democracy process in the democracy process i've read the manifestos and there is so much like amazing content in there, things that I've never even thought of that haven't even crossed my mind and there's an awful lot of crossover with what our vision of the unit as an officer team and what we want to do. And it's always nice to see how much the people around you believe in you. Like, do you get elected? Try and think about the long-term effects of what you want to do. Make sure you're enjoying it, so make sure that you have a strong group of friends or a support network around you. And we're just going to steal all your manifesto points. Yeah. <laughs> Take the credit for it. So. <laughs>